So now we've looked at reflection class, method and property, you wouldn't think that there's much left to talk about. Well, there is. The next thing that we're going to be looking at is reflection parameter. And we'll delete all of this. We'll keep this here just in case we need it. And with this, what we need to do is we need to pass in the class and the method as an array. So we're going to use the set data method for this because it's the only one that takes a parameter. Oops. And then we need to provide the number of the parameter. So because this is the first parameter, it's going to be number one. So let me just check that we didn't get, oh, we've got an error. Yeah, I suspected, yeah, I suspected that the first parameter would have to be zero. So make sure you don't fall into that pit trap that I just did. Um, so let's uncomment this and see what we can do with this. We have get name, self explanatory. Uh, we have a few of these which are a little bit confusing looking. We have get class which gives the class of the the parameter is array, which in this case, well, if we type in this to array, because this would be an array, then we're going to get true. It's callable, so if it's a closure or an, an, an anonymous function, allows null, a get position is optional. Let's look at this one, is optional. So obviously, if we say echo rp is optional, and we comment this out, uh, we didn't save we're going to get false because this parameter here isn't isn't assigned to anything so we have to pass it in it's obligatory but if we were to assign this to an empty array and go back to our browser hit refresh we get true because this is a optional parameter so let's remove this and add a second parameter for autosave so what this will do is automatically save the user to, to the database without us having to call an additional method. And by default, this will be false. So if we change the number parameter to one, and we, f we keep this here, we're going to get one still. If we change this to the other parameter, which is the array of data, we're going to get nothing because it isn't optional. Again, just play around with all of this. It's very useful knowledge to have. You can't really go wrong. It's all very uh, self-explanatory, especially with the docs. So do check those out.